And now we get to a story all of Seahawks Twitter has been holding its breath for for 15 minutes. And, and let me say this as well. There's nothing you people value more than draft picks. I'm looking at you, Mina Kimes. So did Seattle, your Seattle, overpay for Jamal Adams? And how much better did they get? Go ahead, Ms. Kimes. Yes, they overpay, not just because of the draft picks, but also because of the impending contract extension. This was a coup for the Jets. That said, when you're evaluating trades, context matters. And the context, oh, that said, yeah, here we go. We've got a that said. They've got a quarterback in his prime, a pass defense that was bad last year, a pass rush that needs help, and oh, by the way, they were inches away from winning their division. Okay, so he is a difference maker on defense uniquely in that Pete Carroll defense, by the way, his position matters. So while I think it was an overpay for Seattle, I don't hate it for them. Oh, okay. Wait, do you have to give back your analytics card now? I, I, I'm confused. Because if you're saying it's, a, it's an okay overpay. move for Seattle. All right, you think it's an overpay. Jackie, <laughs> times. Jackie, how about you? <laughs> Well, I understand where Mean is coming from. It, we all know that they gave up too much. That's obvious. But Seattle is in a little bit of a win-now mode. And let's be real about Adams, too. He's not your traditional safety. Why are you laughing? Well, a win-now mode. Yet. You speak of that like Russell Wilson's 41. He's 31. We have half the quarterbacks yeah. in the NFL. The, hey, the playoffs hey, are 40 Tony, years old now. Tony. Yeah. Tony, how old is Pete Carroll? Okay, he's decidedly older than 31. Good point, Jackie. I take it back. Get the point. Get the point. Okay, okay. <laughs> and Adams is not your traditional safety, which we know is not the most important position on defense, not even the top two most important. Yeah. But yeah. this kid, he gets sacks. He had seven quarterback uh, – he had 13 quarterback breakups like year. He had broke up passes. He, he goes after the quarterback. He does other things, and that's what Pete Carroll specializes in. His background is all in defense and turning players into hybrid mm -hmm. uh, players. So it's, it, I agree with Mina. It's, you wouldn't do it normally, but for the Seahawks, it could actually work. Well, Duncan, how about you? Let me just say, by the way, debating Mina Kimes about the Seahawks is like trying to bait Newton about the subject of motion. So I'm really glad oh, that we all actually please? agree on this. Come thing. on. It is. It's the truth. Um, I'm glad <laughs> no. we all agree that it certainly is, is too high a price to pay. Um, but I guess what I'm most curious about it, and maybe again, Mina, the analytics whiz can tell me this, is it really seems like the Seahawks are sort of tripling down on run defense, which I suppose makes sense in a division where you're going to play the Niners twice and, and a lot of what they do is predicated on the run, but you're also going to face a Cardinals team that's going to air this thing out. Uh, a Rams team that certainly didn't depend on their run at all last year. So to me, if we're all trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Joneses being the Chiefs, they've proven you can have just an average run defense but win a Super okay. Bowl if you can stop the pass. All right. Is there everybody all right with that? Isaac Newton, you're all right with that? Okay, good. We'll move um, on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.